everyone, I'm Delta6, and welcome to another episode of Run 8 Tutorials. Today we're going to be covering something that uh, we just finished uh, building. This is directly from uh, the folks at Valhalla Tower. Uh, we're looking at the Run 8 version 2 converter suite. And I'll show you this. You're going to download the zip from the post, and it will be on the Valhalla Tower website sometime soon. I have to fix the website a bit. So you will get four things in here, um, so we will extract it, and I'll walk you through exactly what this is. Um, what this allows you to do is it allows you to extract the skins that you originally could not do. Um, in this case, it allows you to... In a, by, what I mean by this is the TX8 files. For the longest time since version 2 came out, people have been wondering, how do we modify TX8 files? We know how to convert skins into TX8 files, but we've never been able to do, the, do it in reverse. That's what this allows us to do. So you will have three things here. You'll have the two licenses for the two things that are used, which are the 010 editor and the nConvert. So you will have a readme here, and you want to read this specifically, because you will need to activate the editor. Um, and one thing I cannot stress enough is that once this is all complete, the batch file you're to run must be run as administrator. Otherwise, it will not work. So what we're going to do is fire up the converter suite uh, via the installer. And this will seem a little confusing. So you're going to run through it. You're going to install it to your V2 directory. And then you're going to hit next. It's going to install. And it's going to launch another editor. This is the 010 editor. Accept it. Hit next, and I don't associate much of these. I only associate with hex. You can you can do whatever you want with these. Next, install. This will install the O1O editor required for the decryption, and we don't need to have that launch. And now the converter 1.0 is complete. So where do we go from here? Well, the first thing we do is we find our version two directory. So we go to our C, Run8 Studios, Run8 Train Simulator V2. Now, you will see a new file down here. You'll see TX8 to PNG Converter Bat. So what the, this converter does is it decrypts the files, converts them into DD... When, once they're decrypted, they become DDS files. At that point, it will then take all of them and convert them into PNGs and put them in a folder so that they're easy for you. So here's the thing. You will put this batch file in whatever folder you wish to extract TX8s from. So if you have it here in the root folder of Run8 version 2, it will extract every texture in version 2, which is about 1,571 different texture files, and that may take about 20 minutes. So what we will do is we'll just make a copy of this, and we'll just do, let's say, let's take a look at what we would like to do. Let's go to rail vehicles and we will extract some of the bodies. So here we will paste it and then we will run as administrator. Now it will give you an option here, convert all TX8 files in just this folder or this folder and all subfolders. Hitting number two if you were in the V2 directory would convert everything. Um, this means in just this folder that the batch file is in is what option one is for. for Option two means if there are any folders inside this folder, it will convert those as well. Um, so what we will do in this case is we'll just hit one, just this folder, hit enter, and it will fire up the uh, encryption. As you can see, it's creating DDS files over here. So I'll show you the magic of what's actually happening. Is You'll see up here, you'll see a bunch of DDS files next to the TX8s. That's because it's extracting, it's decrypting them uh, by adjusting some hex values, and that allows them to become DDS files. Um, again, the data we got in order to do this was help from an outside source who will remain anonymous, uh, but uh, we sincerely appreciate their contribution because without it, we would not have been able to do this. Um, this will allow you to modify anything such as the track textures, the scenery, um, the actual assets themselves, such as buildings, and as well as locomotives and rolling stock you could not do before. So for example, the Wellcar Pack 2's skins can now be modified. 
the SD45 2s can now be reskinned. The um, tunnel motors can now be reskinned. The SD70 Aces can also be reskinned. This is all uh, Europe. So it's now going to be working on. It's most of the way through this now. It's working its way through the SDs. Uh, and during this time, you just want to let it run. Um, so that might take a, a short minute. So this will open up a new realm of possibilities. It will allow people to even do total conversions of a route if they so choose, from ground textures to trees to buildings. If you wanted to make everything winterized, if you wanted to make some trees more like fall, if you wanted to make dead trees, if you wanted to do it, you can do any of that. Um, so right now we're just working on making it so that we can extract every rail vehicle texture, which goes for the rail vehicle bodies and, in some cases, the glass for the, the windows on them. Um, so it is going through, and it, you will also see through the MRAO textures, you'll see what those look like. Those basically tell the sim how to adjust reflections and basically how those colors are reflected in the sim and how the lighting affects them. So it should be nearly done based on where this is headed. In fact, it should be done within... Here we go. So now what it's currently doing is it's converted them all to DDS. Now it's extracted them and they've become DDS. Now what it's currently doing is converting them all to PNG. So if we scroll up here, this is where you'll see your output. Scroll up, you'll see a new folder called PNG Output. And can't really click on it yet because the system is very busy. Um, so you do not want to try and view the folder until this is done. Um, and depending on your hard drive speed, this can take a little bit. So it'll finish all this. It will, it's currently double checking a few things. It's cut, what it's doing is it has just copied the DDS files into the PNG output folder, and now it is converting them to uh, PNGs, which is my mistake. So now if we go in here, you'll see DDS files and you'll see PNGs. The DDSs are being converted to PNGs, and then the DDS files will be deleted to clean up. Um, and uh, while that's happening, uh, I suppose I will go into a demonstration of what I meant by um, by PNG. So for example, here's the one of the Amtrak Autorex uh, instruments. This may take a moment to load due to the fact that the system is very, very busy right now. Um, but this is where your out files will be outputted, and then you'll simply use the input uh, method, which it was done in uh, part two of creating custom textures, and you'll use that method at the moment to get the skins back into the game. We originally had an idea to make this batch file work in the opposite way to convert PNGs to TX8s. Unfortunately, that is not working as far as it, at that time, so that feature has been omitted. So this is only a one-way method. So example, you'll see the Amtrak Autorec body here. Then you'll see this, and what this MRAO does is it allows the sim to basically determine. The sim will see these colors and will help determine how each color is reflected in the world. It's best not to mess with these. It's best to keep keep these textures unmodified and only modify the main textures. Um, and we'll just wait a short bit as it goes through these. In fact, the uh, the skins you have been seeing that have been teased on the running community server group uh, were created using this. Uh, the SD70 Aces were created with it. Um, and there will be a lot of stuff. So for all you reskinners, this will be a massive help to you. And I hope to see a lot of great community work uh, come of this. So at the end, this will finish, and it will delete all of the DDS files. It's not doing it right now. It will take some time, and uh, we'll skip over to when that is See finished. NG file. Um, so that's currently what it's going through. On well card, nearly at the bottom. In fact, it should be hitting the devos right now. And complete. Uh, we seeing. Go. 
textures, and then it will be complete, and I'll show you the PS file will be pushed. Uh, this is to clean everything up, meaning you only have PNG files, making it very easy for you to find the file you need and rescan it and convert it and have it in the sim. Um, so we'll be seeing that right now that it's finishing. You will now notice all the DDS files are gone and you have nothing but PNG files. This is all of the rail vehicles. So uh, that is all there is to it. Uh, I have been Delta 6 of Valhalla Tower. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope you have a blast.